Once finished, this 28-story building may be one of the safest places in the Chilean capital when an earthquake hits. In one of the world's most seismically active countries, it is said to become Santiago's tallest skyscraper with base isolation, a method that decouples a building from its substructure, protecting it with layers of rubber and steel. What's interesting with these base isolation units is that they isolate the structure from the ground. That means that the ground can move a certain way, while the structure moves a lot less. Base isolation units act like the shock absorbers on a car. When hit, they distort and reduce the effects of the impact. Engineers with this company, who work on similar structures, were able to test the method in real life during Chile's 2010 quake the strongest in recent history. Here we have some buildings that are isolated and others that aren't. During the 2010 earthquake, these pictures you see here didn't move, even though there was an 8.9 magnitude earthquake. On the non-isolated side, all the folders were on the floor, all sorts of things had fallen to the floor. Chile has developed some of the best anti-seismic technologies in the world along with other earthquake-prone countries like the United States, Japan, and New Zealand. Santiago's titanium tower is another example. These X-shaped devices reduce the deformations and forces that are transferred to a building during a quake. Architects must follow strict rules to build here, but anti-earthquake structures are only compulsory in public spaces, like hospitals. Many privately owned buildings aren't equipped to resist tremors, like the Costanera Tower, the tallest skyscraper in Latin America. The end purpose of anti-earthquake norms isn't to stop a building from being destroyed, but rather to prevent the building from collapsing on the people living inside. That's the purpose of the norms. There are no earthquake-proof buildings, but there are buildings that can be heavily damaged without endangering people's lives. Chile toughened its laws after the 2010 quake, which killed over 500 people. The traumatic images of these collapsed buildings in the city of Concepcion still haunt Chileans, who hope to prevent another human disaster.